Hello, welcome to the Second Chance platform. My name is Blessing John. Thank you for joining me today. Um, thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Um, today is just the conclusion of the series of the month where I've been talking about um, how to know the one, the conversations you should be having during engagement and planning of the wedding, the meets, some meets about marriage, what you should expect, your expectations and tips on how to you know, navigate them when you get there. So some of the comments I received from some persons regarding um, happiness, some persons were like, okay, what do you mean by, oh, uh, marriage, marriage does not make you happy. So today I'm going to give you an explanation what I mean by marriage does not guarantee happiness. Praise God. So before we start, let's just pray in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you for today. As we share your word, we ask, Lord, you give us light. You give us insight that you give us understanding of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So today I'm just going to be talking about um, what is what brings true happiness. So I need you to understand that when I said marriage does not bring happiness, I don't mean that you should marry somebody that makes you sad. No, that's not the essence of this, this um, video. What I mean is that there are expectations that people have that as soon as they get married, all their emotional needs are solved. That's not true. Your partner cannot meet your 100% emotional need. The only true person that can meet your emotional need is God. Your partner cannot meet your emotional needs. They cannot constantly make you happy. Because one of the things that I know that will make you truly happy is finding God, finding purpose. And when you, how do you find purpose? You have to find God. So first, you have to first of all define what is happiness. Now, true happiness is enjoying your own company and living peace and harmony with your spirit, soul, and your body. That's what true happiness is about. That's the definition of happiness. It means enjoying your own company, living in peace and harmony with your spirit, soul, and body. Now, can anybody, even your husband or your wife, make you, en make you have peace, spirit, soul, and body, and enjoy your own company? It didn't say that enjoying the company of your spouse, but it said enjoying your own company and living with peace and harmony with your own spirit, soul, and body. That's why your spouse cannot make you happy. Then another thing I, I, I just jotted and I said, to be truly happy, you don't need other people or material things to make you happy. Because you can actually have all these persons in your life and have all the material things. But as long as your life is not meeting purpose, you will not be happy. You will not be truly happy. The reason is because everyone on planet Earth, you have a vacuum to fill. You're actually an extension of God, a, a, part, a part of him that he has brought here to fulfill a purpose and a divine assignment. Now, if you're unable to find that purpose what has, why you are here, there, there's always this vacuum in you that keep, you know, that is empty. And that vacuum will make you believe that the man or the woman you're married to is the reason why you're unhappy. Now, I'll speak from personal experience. Before I started working, you know, towards the part of purpose and still, you know, going on that part, I realized that there was just this part of me that was not complete. I, at first, I, 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 I speak from experience. So that's why in this, in this platform, we talk about real life issues. It's not about um, a, oh, what has happened to Jack or Robinson. We don't know. We are not talking about um, scientific thing. We're talking about facts and figures. I experienced this on the personal ground where I felt like my spouse wasn't meeting those needs I needed. Now, physically and everything, he was meeting my needs. Emotionally, to his own best understanding, he was meeting, but there was something that was missing. That was not, I was constantly not feeling complete. I constantly felt that there was something that, that needed to be done. Now, I was mounting pressure on him, not knowing that it wasn't from him. I needed to find my pit place. I needed to find that thing that God has brought me to do. I needed to find purpose. Purpose does not mean that you have to be a preacher. You have to, you have to go to the pulpit and preach. Your purpose might just be a cleaner. Your purpose might be that you are a seamstress. Your purpose might be that you're a public speaker. Your purpose might just be that, okay, you, you are a philanthropist. It's something that gives you that, that when you do it, you just find this fulfillment. Now, I couldn't find fulfillment. So my joy, my happiness was not complete. There was something that was constantly, you know, fighting as if there was just this, um, 
I was not finding that peace, that happiness, that joy I needed. It was not there. I had, I have a good marriage. My husband, to the, to the glory of God, has been good to me, you know. But it, it just felt like, you know. But on my, on my own, I was marking pressure on him, thinking he was the issue. Meanwhile, it wasn't. It was me who has not been able to connect to the source that would make me happy. And the minute I was able to pray, I was like, Holy Ghost, why am I constantly feeling like I'm empty? Something is not complete in me. And that's when I realized that the joy of the Lord is our strength, not the joy of marriage, not the joy of your job, not the joy of the car you just bought. Because you can't buy that car, that, that, that Ferrari, that Bentley. And at the end of it, you still feel like something is not complete. You still feel like you're not, you're not, you're, there's just a space, a vacuum in you that needs to be filled. And that vacuum, not until it's filled up, you will not have that true happiness you deserve. So you have to understand that to be truly happy, you don't need other people or material things. Happiness is the consequences of personal effort and living a life of purpose. That is the that is what makes you happy. That is what did. So note this down. Happiness is the consequences of personal effort. So I have to personally, you know, make an effort to go and pray and say, God, why am I feeling like this? Why do I feel as if something is missing that is, okay, is it the marriage? Is it the man I'm married? What is going on with me? And that was when I was able to discover that it has nothing to do with the marriage. It has nothing to do with the man. It has to do with my personal, you know, um, purpose, my personal purpose. The reason why I'm here, that's the, re the vacuum that was empty, that was that needed to be filled up. And the minute I knew it and I, I, I prayed about it, God showed it to me and I started it. There was just this peace that comes. You know, I felt like I was actually adding something to this world. And that is how you feel every time you're walking in divine purpose. That's why happiness is, is the consequences of the personal, of personal effort and living a life of what? Purpose. Now, we'll re let, let me just bring out some scriptures for you to understand that the only way you can get true happiness in life is not coming from your spouse. It's actually coming from God. So I will just read like four scriptures and we'll see what, 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 I, what, I'm, what I mean by that. In, in Psalm chapter 16 and verse 11, I'll read. Psalm 16, 11 say, it said, you will show me the path of life. That's purpose. God is showing you the path of life. That is, he's showing you the path that you should tread. That's why I said, there's a reason why God brought you. He didn't bring you to just come, gallivant, go through the life and go. No, there's a reason why he brought you. So he said, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand pleasures forever. Now, when you are in your path of purpose, which is the path of life that God has brought you to this earth to come fulfill, that vacuum he has put in there that you need to fill, you would have joy and that happiness which you will find through happiness and it's only in god you can find what purpose because he said you are the one that will show he's the one that will show you the path of life the path of life he's the one that will show you your path where you should tread in life that's why you need to have a relationship with him so that he'll be able to you'll be able to ask him questions he'll be able to tell you okay this is what you should do and this is what your part is. He will begin to afford them to you as you journey with God. Another scripture in Proverbs chapter, um, um, Proverbs, sorry, Psalm 37 and verse 4. Let me just quickly read Psalm 37 and verse 4. It said, delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, the desires of your heart has to do with your purpose, your plan, what God is saying. These things are the things that will give. It is not God, it is not your spouse that will give you the desires of your heart. It is God that will give you the desires of your heart. So you need to align with him so that he can align you with purpose. Then another scripture we're just going to quickly take is um, um, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 20. Proverbs 16, 20 says, he said, he who ye heed his words wisely will find good and whosoever, and whosoever trust in the Lord, happy is he. So happiness comes from God. It does not come from your spouse. I'm not saying you should marry a man or woman that makes you unhappy. No, I'm talking about true happiness. That's part of you that even when you don't have money, you don't have food, but you're so happy. You see some people, you meet some people, you wonder, to you, they are poor, but they are constantly happy. They are joyful. And you're wondering, what is going on? It is because they have found what? 
they they know why they are here they might not be able to start um you know for you to you physically you don't see it but in internally they know they are adding value they know they are working in purpose and they find happiness because they know the god that gives it it's god that gives happiness that gives true happiness not marriage not money not material things and i'll just uh, read uh philippians 4 and verse 4 i'll just use that to 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 do as we conclude say rejoice in the lord again i say rejoice it is the lord that gives you joy that makes you able to rejoice and be glad in him he said it says it is he that giveth the perfect peace perfect peace peace coming from the lord joy comes from the lord happiness true happiness comes from god and it doesn't come from your spouse or it doesn't come from material things or any other thing but it comes from finding purpose and how do you find purpose you need to find god so that he can align you with purpose it's like going to buy a car and you you don't take the manual from the manufacturer there's no way you know how to drive that car even if you know how to drive there are so many functions in that car you will not be able to actualize because you know that by the time you did not go through the manual. You did not ask the manufacturer, how does this function work? So the car, car will not function properly. It's just like a phone. There are so many people, they change phones every now and then. Even the phone that they have changed, they've just changed. They don't even, they've not used the function completely. And the phone does not feel so useful because they did not go through the manual to know what it is. So God, knowing God, is like knowing the manufacturer of your life. And when you know God, he gives you the blueprint and the manual for your life. And that will help you, you understand, to work in purpose that will give you true joy and true happiness. And you will find peace. And in conclusion, say, what is joy? A feeling of a great pleasure and happiness. That's what joy is. True joy is a lim it's it's you know, true joy is limitless. It's life defining, transformating, and reservoir waiting to be tapped into. It requires the you know the most the utmost, the utmost. Do you understand? True joy is something that it's something it's waiting for you to be tapped into. It's waiting for you to be tapped into. Just like happiness is an emotional state. Do you understand? It's an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. Because that's what makes you happy. When you're, you're you know, it's, it's a state where your emotions are they, are, they are, they are satisfied, it is content, and you are fulfilled. You only get this in divine purpose. You can't get it in marriage because your spouse, your husband, your wives, they cannot give you that complete contentment you want they cannot satisfy you completely and they cannot fulfill you you know make you fulfilled completely and when you the only way you can get that is in god and his divine purpose and when you get that what happens you begin to find true happiness and what is happiness happiness is often described as involving positive emotions and life satisfaction so you need to involve Positive emotion. Remember from the beginning, I said it's an effort. It is something that you do with personal effort so that you can what fulfill your purpose. And I'll just conclude from here. I said, what does true happiness, where does true happiness come from? As I conclude, he said, true happiness comes from what? From within you. It comes from within you, it comes from within you. And when when I mean from within you, it comes from God. When you know God. The true happiness flows and when you have a relation, it's not just knowing God, it's knowing him, having a relationship and that will not connect you to true purpose. When you find true purpose, you realize that that vacuum that you constantly felt like your spouse could not feel has been filled. And you begin to see things in a more positive light. You begin to see the things you thought that were wrong with your spouse were actually not wrong. But you were actually seeing those things because a vacuum in you was, was yelling and shouting for filled me up but you thought that it was your spouse that was going to fill you up it was not so finding true happiness in life does not depend on external factors such as you know material possessions like i said money you know work success or living conditions no your living conditions or your job or whatever does not describe true happiness why those factors have impact you know to a certain degree in your life but it is possible 
to be truly happy irrespective of the you know of the abundance of or the lack of distance it is it is very possible for you to be truly happy irrespective of the abundance of the of the material things or the lack of it do you understand so one issue you should surround yourself with one of the things you have to understand by happiness is that it is a choice that you need to make. So happiness is not just something that comes on its own. The same way you choose to love, you also choose happiness. And what I mean by choose happiness, you choose to tell yourself, you know what? I need to find the part that makes me happy. And where is that part? I need to find God. He needs to show me. I need to ask him for him to show me where is that thing that I that is this vacuum in me that is constantly making me not to find true happiness. The minute you find that, you find true happiness. And I hope that this answer your questions for those that sent me a message about what do I really mean by marriage does not give true happiness because that means out there that people believe that as soon as I get married all this sadness and feeling will disappear my dear my dear sugar it will not disappear it will magnify because what marriage does is that whatever negative energy or negative attitude or feelings or emotions you have that you've not dealt with while you're single the minute you get married it magnifies because it magnifies from you know when you get married, the, you have additional person in your life right now. You're taking responsibility for that person. It does not necessarily mean that because you are the man or the woman, you both take responsibility for it of for each other, and that would impact on your neg negative emotions. Come when the children start coming in, that also. So you become so depressed if you don't deal with. So I always say, when you're single, is the best time to find purpose. Is the best time to you know actually you know. Uh, what's it called? Be adventurous. Go out. Ask ask God questions. Go all out. When I mean go all out, go all out with God. Father, what are you saying? Show me what do I need to do? How do I, you know, impact my world? Because when you do these things, they'll speak later when you get married. The one, they will give you peace. Secondly, you would have put personal effort to, you know, groom yourself so when you get married you are married whole you're complete you're not looking for your spouse to now complete you when i mean complete you in sense of your emotions complete you when they are not there you're constantly like oh no no you don't feel that way because you know you're complete so praise god and i hope that this message answer your question that it is god that gives true happiness and one of the ways to to know to have true happiness is finding purpose in god praise the lord so thank you for joining me if you have any questions please um, drop it at the comment or send me a DM and I will always respond to your questions just like I did to this person that sent me these questions about what do I mean by marriage does not give true happiness. So thank you today for joining. Please do like this video, share with your family and friends and also invite others. We, uh, come on, I come on live every Friday. So I would love you to join me as from 12. You'll see our common life. So thank you today for joining and do have a lovely weekend and I pray that you find divine purpose and as you align yourself with God, the Lord will help you, the Holy Ghost reveal your purpose for you and you will find true happiness as you seek. Praise God. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.